Welcome back, comrades. This is Gaming with Austin. Today, we're on to the 11th episode of the Utopian Community series. This is season two. If I was referring to episode 11, I was referring to the 11th episode of season two. We're going to keep going and going. We're putting the windows onto the vertical farm. Any of the food waste would be used for composting. Like, we would use it as compost. Let's talk about some news from CES. ATI, which is AMD's graphics division, has released a new graphics card. Like has announced a new graphics card, which will be released later in the year, called the Radeon Vega 7 series graphics card. The Radeon 7 series graphics card. Which would be like the RTX 2080. But I know an economic system that can replace capitalism. It will be a far left economic system. Which you are provided with your true needs. Your primary needs are your food, water, and shelter. Those are the most important needs. The secondary needs are electricity. Because in the Middle Ages, we lived without electricity. In the Middle Ages. Then, the Industrial Revolution started, which meant using fuel to make our life easier. But the fuel back then was really toxic. Then we started going towards innovation. You know, competition is not the only thing that can mm, drive innovation. The biggest drive to our innovation is curiosity. That's our biggest drive for, in uh, for innovation. Just like how Tesla invented the Tesla coil.
or Benjamin Franklin discovered electricity when the lightning struck his kite. Our curiosity is what's driving us into exploring our world around us. Once the world has been entirely explored, then we'll start exploring the other planets, like Mars, then Jupiter, uh, then the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Then eventually, we'll start reaching for the stars, literally. We'll start reaching for the stars, literally. Starting off with uh, starting off with Alpha Centauri, the system of Alpha Centauri. Then all the other stars within ten light years of Earth. Like, our first generation of starships would use solar sails. With the similar method to how we sailed across the ocean before we started using fuel. How am I going to drive in a... Too much consumerism is pretty bad for the planet anyway. What we need our telescopes are really sensitive. So we could communicate with people on starships. Four blocks above ground zero, so I'm about under 68 feet above the ground. Like, ground zero is the beginning of the void. Let's hope Minecraft increases the height limit to 512. Because it'll be good for everybody. Because I know there are people out there who want to build really large structures.
structures that all build would be reminiscent of the, the massive skyscrapers built in the Soviet Union. What's good about building massive skyscrapers is that with really tall buildings, there's not a lot of environmental impact, which is a good thing. But the bad thing is, they're going to take a long time to build. The tallest building ever envisioned called the Tokyo Tower of Babel, it's going to take about 100 to 150 years to build. Which means, those who see the groundbreaking for the construction will be, will be dead before the building's ever finished, sadly. But their great-grandchildren will be, uh, would be pretty old when they see it. That's what it would be like. I agree about electricity making our lives easier. Problem is, some mm, of the stuff powered by electricity are pretty bad, like AC, unless we change our coolant to one that doesn't deplete our ozone and increase CO2 levels. One material of choice I might think about is hemp. If we're going to make glass bottles, instead of exploiting our beaches, we should start using desert sand, as it's a lot more abundant. That massive amount of desert sand would be useful. And instead of exploiting our beaches for sand, we could just use hemp. And mud bricks. Another material we could do, we could just melt some rocks down, so we don't have to waste as much water.
I personally oppose capital punishment. I see capital punishment morally it's unacceptable in modern society. There's a point in time in which it was acceptable to kill people as punishment. But times have changed. We gotta respect each other's right to live. The th threat of killing someone's not enough to stop them from defecting. Because some people manage to successfully defect from North Korea. Even with death threats from the government of North Korea. Collective leadership in my in our socialist motherland, it, like a new leader would be elected democratically. It wouldn't just be the political bureau, also known as the Politburo. The people would go out and vote, like we would in America, when we vote for our governors or congressmen or new president. Like, there'd be plenty of choices. Eventually, many of us, I see animal slaughter, basically it's executing animals by slitting their throats. If you go to the back of their throat, it'd be, it'd be a lot quicker and not as painful. Look at much of Europe. Capital punishment is not used in Europe. And crime rates, they are very low. In some of the European countries, it's not just capital punishment that is not allowed. Corporal punishment is not allowed either. And crime rates, there are very low. Because... Religious freedom is respected more over there than it is here in America. Women should have the same rights as men around the world. That's one thing I believe should happen. With the official ruling party, even though the Communist Party would be the official ruling party, it wouldn't be the only ruling party. Like, like 
There would be no official ruling party, but the primary ruling party would be the Communist Party, in which they would dominate politics. The campaign posters would get people to go... Ve and the goal of the campaign posters is to get people to treat animals more humanely. Most of the billboards would contain things that would glorify the uh, that would get people to glorify the regime more. Like I wouldn't necessarily I wouldn't force people in to do it. I'd encourage them. I'd encourage them. The goal of the posters on the billboards. One of the posters would say, Go Vegan for the Motherland. And the animals and the fauna would thank you. And the fauna and flora would thank you. Because it requires more flora to, for one... Like... More green for just one pound of meat. Problem with eating meat is it's not very sustainable in the long term. If we're going to feed a large population, we got to change our diets. I did my part by going vegetarian. I encourage you to take your part in changing your diet. Another poster would say, Long live the human race, long live the motherland. And the motherland would represent the entire solar system. Especially, uh, and especially planet Earth. with people being very compassionate towards animals. People wouldn't be forced to praise communism, praise the nation, uh, the country's ideology. They'd be encouraged, like people are forced to in North Korea. In fact, in the socialist motherland, people would actually be encouraged to. Just like how Peter's trying to get people into going vegan, the posters and the billboards would get people to praise, uh, would encourage people to praise communism. One thing that would happen in the uh, in the motherland is animal welfare laws are going to get real tough. For the most part, it would be libertarian. The death penalty would be abolished. Completely. And 
and for good reason. One of the aspects of religious politics is religious communism. It's, act it's actually a form of communism, actually. Religious communism does exist. It's also known as theocratic communism or theocommunism. People would have, for the most part, people would have free speech, free press, free association, and people would have the freedom to believe what they want to believe. The incentive for people to work would be a theme park ticket or two. And the trading system would be a combination of both bartering and gift economy. Because I am in favor of bartering. And the the trade, the money would represent trade value of an item. Why I'm against capital punishment? One, it's immoral. Because you gotta think of Europe. Most countries have abol uh, over there have abolished capital punishment. And crime rates over there are not very high. If you look at the statistics of crime in Europe, in Western societies, abolishing capital punishment is very effective at reducing the crime rate. But in Eastern societies, it's the other way around. In some cases. But not all cases. In Sharia law, things get even scarier. I'd like the Middle East to give up on Sharia law and go towards a constitutional democracy, like a direct democracy type government, which people get together and make decisions together. The uh, economic planning would be done 
through voting. Anyways, this is it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you liked this video. Dislike if you disliked it. Subscribe for more. Share this with your comrades on social media. And as always, thank you for watching. And peace out.